Bishop Joe Desir. I come to declare the decree. Greetings to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. I am Bishop Josiah, a follower of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, a worshiper to the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. A stern believer of the Christian Bible. I love King James versions, New King James version, interlinear Bible of Greek and Hebrew. That is the basic if people ask me. I am a born again Christian, reborn anew by the Spirit, a new creation. A new creature in the Lord who want to follow him even though in my imperfection believing in the grace of God only sola scriptura I'm a follower of the four gospel of Matthew Mark Luke and John I am a follower of the New Testament a new covenant not the old covenant of the law but a new covenant being sealed by the blood of Jesus remember Jesus said this is the blood of the new covenant and I uh, want to adapt myself in this new covenant where first and foremost the Holy Spirit of God being given and being poured out through Christ on the day of Pentecost means to say I am a Pentecost man charismatic apostolic and prophetic receiving the Holy Spirit is the most wonderful experience that I have ever experienced it changed my inactive spiritual activities to a greater hate through the power of the Holy Ghost of God the Spirit of the Living God the Paraclets sent forth on the day of Pentecost is the new covenant sealed that is given into every child of God that follow Christ Jesus if you have not experienced the baptism of the Holy Spirit if you have not been filled by the Holy Ghost of God then I tell you you are just living in the old covenant the old covenant where you follow the ethics and the law and the moral of what the Bible required but through your imperfection and weakness of carnality you try to obey to become a good Christian a good citizen in your community or religious Christian followers but eventually that's all about it carnality and carnal Christian a Christian who don't have the Holy Spirit of God because they did not receive the revelation and truth that you have to move on from your religious belief to an experience of God's power with the Spirit of God. Hinamasanto kuraba santa giyama. Let me speak to you. Without the Holy Spirit, you are not able to sustain this life. The wisdom of God, the word of knowledge, the gift of God is the Spirit of God, and He will manifest to you all His wonders, His will, His purpose. 
I encourage you, everybody, to keep up your faith strong and remain strong. It is well. It is well. I leave it to you with the word in the book of Psalm, chapter 1. He said, Blessed is the man who walk not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stand in the ways of sinners, nor seated in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. In the New Testament means in the commandment of Jesus. And in his law that he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bring forth fruits in his season. Hallelujah. His leaf also shall not wither. And whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. I am telling you, when you apply the law, in the New Testament, the commandment of Christ and the Bible-inspired letters of the apostles in the New Testament, you apply the teaching. It is not racing to become a good person. It's not that. It's not the goal to become somebody who is good, morally right. The goal is to do the will of the Father. The goal is to make you a better person through meditating and applying the commandment and the law and the teaching of Christ in your daily life. Oh, I'm telling you, if you do that, you will be like a tree that bear fruits that people can eat and see and experience the goodness of God. They will see Christ in you, the character of a righteous and a holy person in you because of the fruit of the Holy Spirit, which is love and joy and peace and perseverance and patience and self-control. Oh, what a wonderful fruits of the Holy Spirit of God. I encourage you today. You will prosper in all that you do. I release this blessing to you. May people will have grace upon your life. May people will have favor in your life that in all that you do you will prosper it is the will of God for you to be prosper prosper comes fame richness God want every child of God to prosper just apply come and read his word every day meditate it as the matter of fact recite it i've been reciting many many bibles i can recite without even opening my eyes to read some five or six psalm into my brain memorizing and reciting it it changed my life it bring healing to my soul and i encourage you this is one of the key secret of my prosperity in life. Whatsoever he do it shall prosper. This is not a prosperity gospel. This is a prosperity when you apply the law and the commandment of God as it is written in the book of Psalm chapter 1. Remain blessed in Jesus name. You are anointed to do it. Subscribe to my YouTube and press like.
Thank you. God bless you.